So hey guys, um, we've made a new update to the Colab workflow. We've simplified it, so um, we've made it easier for you to uh, load your Python files, save them without the hassle of uh, executing the last cell and worrying about losing progress. So uh, I'll be running through an example workflow here um, and showing you the changes. So just like before, we're going to have a CS231N folder and an assignments folder, and you're, what you're going to do is um, unzip the collab file we, we provide you with and upload it into this directory on your drive. So um, as you can see it's the same structure as before you have your notebook files you have your CS231N folder with a bunch of Python files and so what we're gonna do here is same as before we're gonna load the notebook um, by connecting uh, to Google Colab Maximize the screen. So all you have to do now is just enter the root direct the, root, the path to where you saved that assignment. And so what we'll do is we'll paste this, and it's called assignment two. And all you have to do is run this. So what this is doing is it's first authorizing um, Colab to access your drive. So we're going to do that. To copy this authorization code, enter it here. Then, when it mounts your drive, what it does is it tells Python um, to look into the CS231N folder and to use that to look at Python files. And then it'll look inside your datasets folder inside your drive, and if it doesn't see the CFAR10 dataset, it'll download it. And so, if you check here, in your data sets folder, you should see the CFAR10 data set. There we go. So, unlike before, you can now directly edit the Python files inside your drive. So you go here on the side, it'll be under drive, my drive, and this is what's inside my drive. You go directly to CS231N assignment 2. You can edit the file directly here. And I'll show you an example. The first thing we'll do is here, let me just put a print statement and I hit save. Now if, if I go to my drive, you can see that in layers it should have updated. So I need to refresh, I think. Let's refresh. Check layers. There we go. No need to execute that last cell anymore like we did previously. So just for the sake of showing you that this will run, I'm going to import this. I'm going to load the CFAR10 data set. It's going to recognize the new leaf train folder we downloaded. Now I'm going to run this. It's not going to work, but it, at least it's going to print the high statement. There we go. You can see the high. That's it. If you go to, towards the bottom, you never have to, to run that last cell anymore. All you have to do is while you're working on the notebook is hit command save or control save to save your notebook to save the contents of the notebook periodically and that's it so you just edit your python files from here and then you can close once you're done and then say you opened another notebook let's open dropout you have to enter the folder name again but this time it won't re-download the, the data set because it knows that the data set is there so it's called assignment two. Let's run it. It'll ask for my authorization again. Let's do that real quick. Should be even faster this time. That's it, you're done. I'm gonna load this again. And we can load the CFAR10 data set. No need to re-download it every single time. So let's wait for this to load. For some reason it's taking a while. There we go. That's it guys. Let me know if you have questions on Piazza. Thanks.